why we struggle to adhere to it. We don't want to do it. In this week's video, I'm going to cover adherence, the sticking to its side of things, which is often what we struggle with the most. I would wager that everyone that ever comes here has already started some attempt to get fitter, to lose weight, they've joined a gym, taken a, a diet in the past, uh, probably more than once, and they've not struggled to start that. They've struggled to maintain it, to adhere to it, to do it long enough to get and maintain the results they desire. And often, what we try and stick to is something we just don't want to do. And that's going to be hard. That's going to be a willpower-based approach. We're going to attempt to force ourselves to do something that we don't want to do because we perceive that the benefits at the end of it might be worthwhile. And whilst they might be, that's a, a hard way to go about doing it. Willpower is at best a finite resource. It runs out. We can use it to force ourselves to do things we don't want to do for a while, but probably not for long enough. So what we can do instead is some combination of two things. We can change the thing that we're doing to something that we're happier to do, and or we can reframe that thing and look at it in a different way. So if we're forcing ourselves to do a type of exercise or to eat in a certain way that we just are always going to hate, it's not going to happen. Going for a knowingly suboptimal approach, a version that would arguably take us longer to get all the way to where we want to get to, but that we're okay doing and therefore do do, is way more likely to happen. The form of exercise that you're happy to do and do three times a week for the rest of your life will always beat the form of exercise that someone else tells you is better, that you don't do. And secondly, we can reframe the way we see it. We can perhaps look less at the process and look more at the benefits, particularly the more immediate ones, and everything else that's around it. So if you said to me, do you want to do a workout? My answer would be no. I don't think in 20 years of working out regularly I've ever wanted to do a workout. I have wanted to meet up with friends to have a chat whilst we're doing something that will make us all feel better. I have wanted to do stuff that will boost my energy and mood immediately. I have wanted to do stuff that will contribute to overall longer term results. And that thing is a workout. I've never wanted to do a workout. So if you're struggling to adhere to working out, reframe that. Can you instead adhere to feeling better? Can you instead adhere to doing something that will give you more energy, make you a better version of yourself, enable you to show up in the world every day and do the things that are important to you more and more easily? Can you do it in a way that you enjoy doing more? You meet friends down here at Rise for a session, you do some other way of, of, of approaching it that feels more desirable. So in short, if we're struggling to adhere to something, it's because as it stands and as we're viewing it, we don't really want to do it. We don't struggle to adhere to the stuff that we do want to do. We don't ever talk about how oh, I missed an episode of my favorite program, so I'll get back to it in the new year. We just carry on doing it because we want to. How can we make exercise and better eating more similar to that through some combination of reframing the way we see it and maybe tweaking the actual thing that we do?